Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Iris and the Giant. What's this players and modes, by the way? Okay, so this is like, um, save files, basically, I guess. You can change difficulty, cool. So we're 29, 23% progression. What exactly is that measuring progression towards? Nobody knows. Um... Is it like we got 20, we got a quarter of the way through the game, or we've found a quarter of all the things that exist? Who knows? So memories, yep. I'm I'm still bad. Please give me more memories. I don't mind. Um, at the beginning of each floor, you re regain half of your will. That's pretty nuts. When you receive a fatal blow, you fall to your knees. You have to survive the next attack. As in, like, next turn, or... I can find a star inside... This is, like, pots, right? Amphor amph amphorae is like a... It's like a, a pitcher or something, right? I mean, I guess that's what it looks like, but I think that's... I remember what that word means. Find steel cards in chests. Sure, I don't know. These all seem interesting. But I like a lot of... We almost never entered a floor low on Will, right? I don't know. Will... Regaining Will wasn't a problem that I had. I, in both games, I got, like... Well, okay, in the first game, I chose not to regain Will when it would have saved my life. And in the second game, I got taken from, like, full health to zero instantly. Um... Whoops. I meant to, like... This... Wait, what happens if you do that? Ah, okay. So anytime you want, you can reorganize what you have. Okay, so none of these choices are permanent. I just really don't like that this, when you've chosen this, the confirm button covers up another choice. I was trying to just click on this to see what would happen, you know? Um, so I don't know, this was kind of cool as a way to like protect you from being surprised by something. Sure. Gifts. So we have a thorny whip and star inside pots, I think. No. I don't know what our gifts are. Reach floor seven. So we should we should try to do that. That would be nice, I guess. Yep, we've seen that before. So we got some bombs as well, right? Yep. Uh, axe all this and then sword the back. Seems good. Sword this guy last so that I get the bonus turn, which didn't seem to happen last time. Okay, well, whatever. Thought I might be able to carry that over to the next floor. Open this chest, axe seems good. Alternatively, this minotaur. It would be nice to catch him in the axe, right? So maybe I, I bow here first, then do that. That seems better. Uh, more axes. Maybe I should take a dagger one of these times, you know? Like running into the giant minotaur is a is a big problem, and yeah, let's try it. I'll try to save one of these for. Uh... Oh, I see. I guess the fact that one of them goes into your hand immediately is like an argument for not taking cards that are like gonna be good eventually. Hey, wait a minute! That thing has crystals in it. I attacked it with my. Uh my axe and it like got chipped away and revealed some crystals. I don't want to spend more attacks on it, do I? I don't know, let's see what happens. Cool. Um, what's the plan here? Shoot down the cat? Yes. My hand is not very good right now. Okay, 
this is handy. Kill that guy first, because this cat was attacking me anyway. Actually, I should probably use my second sword on this cat, in fact, so that I start taking less damage. Oh, and a level. How nice. Resistance is cool. Um, sword, dagger, axe, or arrow. That's pretty much all my cards right now. Yeah, let's, let's take this. Give me some slow healing. No crystals in this one. All right, is that that looks like a big minotaur, right? That's who the dagger's for. Ugh. We destroyed a chest before by attacking it, but I think it was because it took two attacks and one was okay. I don't know. Just just hit me. <laughs> Whips are good, I guess, because we have that whip upgrade, so I want to at least see what they're like. And more swords. Get iced, you big dummy. Alright, what's this? Win a card, you gain will. Monsters who survive an axe are stunned? Well, that's not a big concern, I don't think. I have several arrows, and I, I heal every time I kill an enemy with an arrow, so this seems like a good uh, kind of little combo thingy. So, yeah, all right. So this, I think, means that my whip will actually deal damage to this guy. But if I attacked him, it wouldn't, right? It's not like, uh, in addition to being a whip, it's also an axe. It's like it's either a whip or a sword is what I think is going on. Yeah. All right, seems good. Off we go. Am I in one of my dreams? Yeah, sure. So it seems like the progression of levels is pretty similar from game to game, but the arrangement of enemies within a level is, of course, different. Good to know. Am I going to bomb myself again? Really? No, let's bomb this. I don't like leaving these cats to shoot at me, but, like, what can you do, right? This guy gives you an extra turn, so I think we go here... And then here. Oh, right, but you don't draw cards on your extra turn, so it's not very useful. I always forget that. Um, I guess I'll just heal up, having no other options. Actually, is this a skip turn button? Oh, right, because this doesn't cost... Yeah. Yes, there is a skip turn button. Okay. Good to know. Very suspicious of chests now. <laughs> How do I know? Maybe it's a mimic. Um, okay, so good to know there's an intern button. I obviously wouldn't have spent some will there if I had known. Um, I don't know. It's, there are probably times it's a good idea to spend will even though you're not at like about to die, right? Because the more will you have stuck, or the more concentration you have stuck in hand, confidence, that's what it's called, right? The more confidence you have stuck in hand, the less flexibility you have in how you deal with enemies, and so you end up taking more damage that way. So you might waste a will to make you deal with enemies more effectively. Alright, so these are good. Um, everything here seems okay. But I think axes are great. Where do I see my... Is it here? How do I see what power-ups I have? I, I think I, I took something that like heals me. Ah, here it is. Okay, so maybe leave this open all the time. 
no, I... Well, these are the things I took from enemies. I thought I took one that makes me heal from, uh... From killing enemies with, like, physical attacks, right? Yeah, oh, there it is. It's this one, of course. Which is showing right here. I just, like... I thought it was not a level up thing. I thought it was an enemy thing, so I wasn't looking very carefully at this. Okay, so it does include axes. Good. That's what I wanted to check. More cards. Give me axes. Give me, I don't know, whips? I guess. They're flexible cards. Big demons hide very interesting cards. Sure. Um, I still have a dagger, right? But I'm not very likely to draw it here, of course. An axe here seems pretty useful. Um, oh my god! Oh my god, okay, we got, uh, we got some issues. Um... Um, well, I'm thinking about, like, whipping this guy into the front row, but I'm not sure I want to do it right away. I'm thinking about, like, maybe shooting an arrow to take out these two first, then whip him into the front row so I can start axing him. I don't like that that allows this guy to steal two cards from me, but still, so far, cards have not been the main issue for me, right? I haven't, I haven't run out of cards ever. I've run out of health twice, so I should stop worrying about that, I think. Let's just do this. <laughs> oh, he stole a bomb. That's rude. And an axe. Oh, well. Now you come here, please. Oh, I get an extra turn from killing that cat. Oh, I'm so smart. Um, I mean, imagination does very little for me right now because I'm holding like eight cards. Um, but resistance is fine. Oh, especially since I'm about to get attacked a bunch? Yeah, sure. Or no, I'm not because I got an extra turn. Uh, yeah, give me shields and arrows. And then I'll just axe this. Maybe I should arrow first, since I'm protected, but I don't, I don't really see a compelling reason for that. Oh my god, these are all gonna jump forward? So I think I leave this here. So this guy gets the front row, I think he just jumps over one friend, right? So I think he lands here, which is why I want to leave this alone. And then arrow these two. Yeah. I just didn't want to have so many minotaurs in the front row when I don't have a way to deal with them yet. Um, I could shield up again. Seems sort of reasonable. Or I could use a couple swords on these two and take no damage this turn. Well, I'll take one. Maybe I'll take this shield up and get to work on the Minotaurs. I take this first because it might like make the other stuff I'm doing this turn more powerful. play arrows as if they were swords, basically, right? That seems pretty great, given that our arrows are already good. Yeah, so I'm thinking first we just arrow these guys so that they can't, like, sneak up on me. I just don't want a guy with armor arriving, right? And I want to make sure I get use out of my big arrows. Um. Now 
now the two swords are fine. I'm free to run away whenever I want to, but I don't have to. Um... Maybe I just whip this and run away? It's like killing all this stuff, who cares, right? Yeah. Okay, or I could trade an axe for two stars. I don't know, I can do that anytime, right? Most floors let you kill at least two things with one axe. So I'll just do that later, see ya. Uh-oh. I don't even have any magical attacks, do I? I guess I have bombs. Yeah, I have two bombs left. Uh-oh. This is a problem and a half, huh? I mean, I guess I'll shoot down these cats. I need to, like, somehow get a chest? I'm not really clear on how that's gonna happen. Oh, I'm dead, right? No. Not yet. My problem is that, like, there's a front row of skeletons, and the only way I can deal with any of them is with, um... Bombs? Of which, excuse me, I have two in my pack of, like, 30 cards. So I really have a lot of trouble doing, like, making progress on this floor. Okay, there's a bomb. All right, that's the other thing I could do, I guess. Um... So it's kind of like a... I need to kill him. I would kind of like him to break that that pitcher. Um, I could whip him forward? Whoa! What if I whipped forward this pitcher? This guy would slide forward, right? No, this guy would move back. Doesn't really help me much. If I killed this guy... With something. And then whipped this guy forward and, like, killed him. That would take care of two of the three of the big skeletons, right? Problem is I can't easily kill him, so I'm going to shield first. Okay, fine. This is not exactly what I wanted, but I'll take it. Oh, they're going to hop forward, though. Means it's going to be a little bit harder to get this bomb to go in the right place. <sighs> I mean, I can archer, I can bow here, it's something. Um, but then when I pull this guy forward, he's still only going to hit this one and this one. So I might as well pull him forward now. Hit this one and this guy, I guess. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna blow himself up, right? And I'm shielded anyway, so I should spend this turn on arrows, right? Ooh, and an arrow here kills this guy, who I otherwise have problems dealing with. Oh, he doesn't blow up allies unless I kill him. Well, that's embarrassing. Okay. Oh, give me a rare card that saves my life, please. A rain of arrows falls on all my enemies. Well, that doesn't look mad. None of these look magical. Steal cards? I could... I'm not sure what I could steal exactly. Yeah, magical cards have a blue background, and none of these do. Um, six axes is pretty cool, but not relevant right now. Rain of arrows. Yeah. Just give me a bunch of cards, I guess. Get 
could steal an axe, but I don't really need to right now. Oh, right, I wanted to finish opening this. Just let me out of here, please. I could steal three steals? Okay, stairs are over here, so that's the direction we're gonna try to go, I guess. Also, it would be really nice to... I could whip this memory if I could just kill anything in here. I can't kill the skeleton. But if I could, like, break this pot or arrow this cat or something, I could whip the memory back. Okay, so arrows are actually really good right now. And I guess more whips? Shields are also great. Yeah, I'm about to get attacked by some minotaurs, as I recall. Soonish, anyway. Um, so I think this? No, this. Oh, that kills this guy, which buys me a turn, even. Ah, but the whole point of this arrow was to blow up this, right? So that I, so that the memory comes into view and I can whip it and leave. So even though it doesn't kill this guy, which I would really like to do. Like, tactically, this is the right thing, but strategically, I think it's this. God, this does so much. If I had another whip in hand, I could sort of guarantee it, right? I could, like, uh, blow this up, whip this guy forward, kill him, whip this forward or something, but I don't. So I'm going to do this, just because getting memories is really good. Give me this. Why did I draw two cards off of that? I don't know. I don't know. She doesn't talk to me. I don't know what's going on. I want to help her. But I think it's me. I'm the one who's lost. So, is there any enemy that I would really love to steal from? Like, it's really hard to steal from this guy, right? Actually, mm, I could arrow these two. That just kills this guy, right? So, maybe that's not so great. I don't know, I get some stars for it. What's optimism again? All right, picking up crystals gives you more stuff. Resistance gives you better shields. Yeah, let's use trick. We have some pretty powerful cards that would be nice to be able to hang on to. attack this to get out of here. Yep. Alright, so these guys give you sorrow. Definitely do not steal from them. That's my opinion. I found an imaginary friend. Take him at the beginning. Yeah, so we made it to floor seven. Great. That, like, unlocked the, the challenge that this guy had for us. Um, I, th I don't know if this counts as an attack. Oh, when you play a whip, draw two cards. I forgot about that part. How did that... Wow. That's really useful. I somehow missed that. And now I understand why I drew two cards last time I played a whip. Okay. Uh, I, my hand seems pretty garbo right now. Okay, well, I take it back. Uh, shield's actually a great card at the moment. A bomb here is something, but also I would really, really like to bomb these two Cyclopes, so I think we stab here first. And then a bomb in the middle. Well, 
Why do I still have a turn? Was one of them the golden guy and I just forgot? I think that's the case. Yeah, one of the one of the guys over here was, I remember now. Um I could just like steal three swords. It's not amazing, but it's fine. So I could shoot this guy, but that's not getting good use out of my arrows. It would be better, I think, to whip him and then like ax the front row. this guy. But uh, I'll just keep axing, I think. Ugh. Uh, okay, sword, sword here, I guess, is the thing. Where the heck is the exit? Over here, I guess. Maybe I'll just... Maybe I should just arrow once. Sword, now. Next turn, I can arrow, arrow, and not have to deal with those guys. That seems good. Oh my god, there's three of them. Good thing I have three arrows, you losers. Three swords would have worked just as well, but okay. It wasn't a mimic. Incredible. Uh, so we want arrows. Those are pretty good. Given our, like, power-ups anyway. Uh, will hasn't been a huge problem yet. I could take axes or shields. They both seem reasonable. Right now I'm already holding a shield, so adding another to my hand is not that impressive. Let's just take axes. I like attacking enemies. Stun foes are mobilized for two turns. Cool. I don't think we've stunned anyone yet, right? All right, so here we are at the place where we fought Cerberus before, aren't we? I think. Um, this guy, yeah, reflects magical damage. So good thing we have some arrows. Seems like a good start, maybe, would be to, like, arrow these two, and then arrow these two. But I guess we'd, we'd start by... What is this? This is a, a demon with car... Yeah, okay. Number of... Ta oh. Oh, I would love to steal three of those, wouldn't I? Ooh. That'd be pretty cool. Um... Yeah, I kind of want to take out these two pretty early, which means an arrow is good. That's just a question of what do I do with the other arrow that I can play this turn. Oh, just spending it on these two seems pretty cool, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, I think. On the other hand, that lets this in, which I'm not thrilled about. Yeah... Um, I think next turn I want to open both of these and then axe the front line. And then after that, I want to steal from this guy. Which means I'm not dealing with anything else in the middle row, so... I kind of don't want to kill this guy, but I do want to kill this guy and not waste a turn, right? So I guess I might as well. I'm gonna get some cards burning, which I'm not very happy about, but it's worth it, I think, to be able to steal this and see what I get. All right, what was that? 
Gain six swords in hand. That's pretty cool. Um, pull all these guys to the front row and axe them. That gets a bonus turn even, which is nice. Maybe some kind of bomb would be better. This guy's a bit of an issue, because like a bomb here looks appealing, but would blow me up. So a bomb here, I guess, is kind of a thing. Ah, what I should do is kick this over, and then bomb on this tile, which gets the Cerberus and these three guys, and gives me an extra turn. cards aren't on fire anymore, I think. Nerve. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, yeah, give me some imagination. Oh, I can even... I didn't realize this. I can now just axe all the Cerberuses, right? Although... I was gonna say, how am I gonna finish them off? Answer, sword dance. Great. Oh, and it, the rest of your cards go back into your pack? Mm, interesting, okay. I should kill these two or not. Just leave, maybe. Okay, who cares about thieves? Axes for crystals. Whips steal cards. Do I even have any whips in my deck right now? I don't think I do. But my whips are better, so like if I see any in chests, I'm sort of inclined to take them. This makes them even better. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, arrows are great. Fire, I guess, is pretty cool. Could take swords instead. Not sure. There's some enemies who, like, care about fire, uh, magic, and this is one way to get that figured out. Yeah, okay, let's go. This way I also have three swords in hand for next uh, combat, which is a pretty powerful I hear the start. Rain in the distance. Or is that the sound of tears falling? An old sorrow that weighs heavy upon my heart. Okay, so is this the level we died on last time, or was it the, the next level? I don't remember for sure. Or, actually, I don't even remember if I'm thinking of the first... The second game we died pretty early, right? No, I don't remember. Wait, we don't get to keep those three swords? Are they in my pack? What's the deal? I guess they are. Um, fireball down here seems okay. I should keep this open. Um, a fireball down here seems all right. And then open the chest and see what happens. I guess. I'll keep these arrows in reserve to deal with, like surprising threats or something. Uh-huh. So this looks like an okay sword dance, I think. Ugh, this guy. These two look different. Right? All the chests we've opened so far have looked like this. They've had these kind of triangles floating around them, and this one doesn't have the triangles. Is that how I know this is a mimic? I'm scared of that chest, is my opinion. I think I'm supposed to be able to tell that it's a mimic, and I think that this is how I'm supposed to know. Because it did a tremendous amount of damage if there was no... Like, if you couldn't predict it, then, like... It was horrible. It was really, really strong. So I think you are supposed to be able to tell, and I think this is how. I'm gonna not open this chest. Um... Just sword dance my way through this and these guys, I guess. 
That's a very good card, by the way. I'm glad we stole three of them. Okay, Fireball's good. Um, this is probably also good. It's another way to deal with the big old skeleton dude. Or the skeleton with the shield. And uh, I'll just take some shields. But they don't go into my hand. Very interesting. Because I'm sword dancing, I guess. I could attack this. I swear to God. I think this is an evil chest, though. I really don't want to uh, attack it. Oh, the, the bowl is now going to resurrect any skeletons I kill anyway. So killing this guy doesn't do much. I'm gonna dagger, I'm gonna sword this chest. Yeah, it was a mimic. Friggin' jerk. What happened to the bowl? He was here a second ago, right? Where'd he go? Oh. Is he like way back here and he resurrected all the skeletons I killed last turn? That's horrible. I can't even attack him now. Um, well, I'm gonna block these attacks because I don't want this sorrow, I think. Fireball here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a bowl in this row, is my recollection. Um. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so he actually... He resurrects all skeletons that are dead, even ones that aren't on the screen anymore. Just, I guess, like, the ones you killed on the on that turn is my guess. And normally, that's, like, only skeletons on this... I don't, I don't know exactly. Uh, but okay, so we definitely don't want to kill anything in this row. Because he would resurrect a bunch of stuff again. So we'll just kill this guy. More shields? Seems good. <laughs> Maybe just sword here? To get the bowl into view so that I can fireball this? I don't really understand why he got to act actually that turn, right? Because I had played a bunch of swords. Oh, I see, but... He... He attacks every turn he's visible, right? I guess? I, I don't understand his mechanic exactly. Uh, but okay, we'll do this. Um, an axe looks alright. An arrow here looks okay, too. Well, here, I guess, so we don't attack the chest. Um, I'd kind of like to pull this guy forward so he can take care of this, though. Some axes might work on that, I guess. Here's a lot of arrows to work with. Arrow here. Kills these and gets me a turn. Then I shoot the bowl. Then I shoot, I don't know, this guy. It doesn't really matter. Probably, actually, I probably shoot, what is this? It's like a ghost cat, I think. Yeah. Oh, it's a snake. Shoot these guys. And then shoot this to kill the sorrow dude. I could shoot here. Oh, I get an extra turn after this. Um, 
Although, what am I doing on that turn? I'm like daggering. <laughs> uh, okay, so actually, I'm going to shoot this guy so that I get some cards to take my extra turn with. A whip and fireballs seem good. Ow. Oh, it's got like a hook as well, yeah. Steals cards, very cool. Um, but all I want right now actually is to just get out of here. So, I should whip this guy to steal some bombs, right? How many cards do I steal? Two? One. Oh, so that's trading a whip for a bomb, which, like, I don't know. It's okay, I guess. But my whips are very powerful right now, so maybe I should not do that. I'm just going to dagger this guy and get out of here. Okay, now I have this. Whipping this guy and then clawing him is pretty unbelievable, isn't it? What is this? Right, stealing three bombs, four bombs. I think I like that a lot. Oh, okay, I only took one from that. That's good. Uh... Oh, I should pay more attention to my tricks. Oh yeah, geez, give me tricks. I'm sure I've missed some, some opportunities to recycle some really useful cards. All right, I'm out of here. If you fall to your knees, you have to end your turn with at least one will. Okay. So what's up with these? So the, this is what the Sorrow guys were, but they're in a hole now. I don't know what that means. So they come out when you attack them, when you get adjacent to them. Also, what's with this? There's like nothing here. But it's blocking this guy somehow. You can attack it. Okay. This is a real chest. Uh, well, let's kick this open and see what happens. Did this guy come out? No. there's like nothing behind him that's kind of weird uh let's fireball here i guess okay so the attack is what wakes him up not like him being adjacent yeah give me the bows the arrows i should say ah so, damaging the chest doesn't break it, but I think that that was the reason that it was only half a chest, is because we damaged it, right? Okay, so let's try and, like, in general, try to avoid doing that. It's not necessarily the most important thing that could ever happen, but... Alright, well this was a really short level for some reason. Many cards can blow away a shield. Whip, wave, dagger... Okay, good to know the dagger does destroy shields. I assumed it did, but... There are enemies that are like, oh, only magical cards kill it. But I think the dagger can kill anything. Um, what happens if you steal a card from a chest with a whip? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it should be allowed. Um, I have a lot of whips right now. What can I do with them? I could steal an arrow, I guess. That puts this guy not on the front row, which means my arrows are more effective against him. That's kind of cute. Also, what do you steal? Oh, this guy, you probably steal fireballs, right? Sure. Sure. 
So, like, an arrow here seems good. Oh, we... We damaged this chest. Right. That's... A mechanic I don't think, we, think we've seen before. If you, when you kill those fire guys, the stuff behind them uh, takes damage. Like, in a row. Like, as if you shot a fireball out with them. So, that's good to know. I want to know what you get out of a Cyclops. So I'm thinking, like, open this up. Uh, yeah, it only has one pack. Okay, so it is important to avoid damaging these, not just avoid destroying them. Uh, give me axes, I guess. And then I want to grab this guy. You get some sort of stone thing. A boulder. Can crush any opponent or shield me for three turns. Interesting. Um, so we do this. I mean, don't get me wrong, Sword Dance is pretty cool right now, right? I could actually use six attacks, um, but my hand is already pretty full, and these this axe is very good right now, so I'll just... I'm okay with taking a little damage. guy's about to jump, but I don't really care. Maybe I should just arrow these two? Arrow these two? No, I want to take advantage of this guy's ability to damage stuff behind him to kill this bomb dude. I think I'll arrow these two. Oh, god! Ah, uh, I arrowed the wrong thing. That's a big, big bummer. Um, okay, an axe here is fine, though. A sword dance looks appealing, is it? Probably. Why is this one blue? I don't know. And then uh, try to get back here, I guess. Oh, because it's a it's a cyclops. That's why. All right, all this fire is a real problem for me, guys. So now, like blowing this guy up is obviously very good. I kind of like the idea of killing these guys, but it's a little tough to do. Yeah, my whole hand's on fire now. Except, oh, okay, I picked up a new card, so there's that. Stop it with your video games, Iris. For heaven's sake, we're in a restaurant. Don't you want to tell me about your day? Okay, so a fireball here is fine, I guess. Mm hmm. Whoa. All right, this guy. Kind of an issue. But I think right now, like, a bomb here is actually just fine. I'm going to take 16, which is obviously a huge problem, but this guy's going to take, I believe, two damage, one from my bomb and one from this guy blowing him up, and then I can just finish him pretty easily the next time he appears. Uh, yeah, I could even claw him to steal a bunch of boulders. So... Honestly, wait, am I allowed to pass turn? No. I, I hate using an axe on this, but I think everything else I have is more important. Why is this... I'm at like 11, which I get. 
But what is the, the meaning of the three colors? I understand the, the full red color is how much you have. And up here is your max. What's this color in the middle? I don't know. That's weird. Do I have any upgrades to care about that somehow? Oh, also, the next card I play will return to my bag. Uh, so what do I want more of? I guess actually taking this boulder back is pretty cool. No, but I need to I need to kill this. All right, just give me give me more fire. I would have loved to make this return, obviously, but what can you do? Wait, he still has armor? Shouldn't he have taken two damage? Because he had two armor, and then I hit him with a bomb, and something exploded on him, right? I'm pretty sure he should have taken two, but it looks like he didn't. Okay, well, I mean, I have to play either a boulder or will. Maybe both. I guess what I should try to do if I actually want to steal these cards is play a will and then an arrow. Let him attack me once, but then steal his boulders. I don't know, maybe that's silly. Maybe I should have just killed him with this boulder. Do I still have any will left? No. Okay, so it might be nice to take will at an, at an upgrade, or confidence, rather. Yeah, I don't think it's worth taking 16 damage to steal three boulders. <laughs> I guess I should just kill this guy. I shouldn't have played that confidence, maybe. Three. Or you get two swords at the beginning of each floor. When you get a bonus card, you also gain a steal. Well, that's cool, I guess. Um, I think my arrow splitting into two is kind of enough. Whereas this, giving me two swords early, makes the early parts of floors easier, and also I heal when I kill stuff with swords, so it seems like a good, good try. What is this all about? Why is there a picture of an arrow on that rock? Should I shoot it? I'll give it a try. I don't know what it does, but it seems like clearly begging to be shot, right? The entrance to a treasure room. Imaginary friends sometimes give you a handicap. Think well about your strategy. Right, so what is this? All right, there's this enemy here. The wool of the sheep looks like gold. This has will. You lose three stars if you take that. Interesting. So... Huh. So you, you can, like, there's power-ups hidden here, but you have to pay stars to get them by killing these things? I'd like to get to this guy. I was hoping to, like, steal a card from him, but A, I don't know if that would do anything. Um, actually, let's just search that real quick. Iris and giant golden sheep. What the heck is his deal? Anybody written this down yet? Uh, it doesn't look like it. The game's only a couple days old and yeah, all right. Well, I guess we have to learn the rules ourselves. I think of stealing a card from him, which should give us something pretty cool, but maybe we should just shoot him and like not deal with any of these evil things, huh? Like I could, I could obviously shoot an arrow here and kill these two and then I'd get like, it looks like mostly what there is here is health. I don't know, I'm gonna shoot this guy and see what happens. Not much. Okay, so I guess another thing to keep in mind is there's not actually a way to leave. <laughs> I thought there was, like, maybe some way to leave here. Uh, 
and then I just like kill that guy and then leave, but no, there's not. So okay. Uh There you go, see you later, stars. Uh-huh. Oh, I didn't need to use an axe. I can just kick all this stuff. What am I thinking? Two packs of cards. Give me whips. Give me shields. Okay, so this was maybe not such a great place to visit, it turns out. Ooh, a harp. A lyre. Put a photo to sleep. This card returns to my bag. Okay, cool. Bunch of bombs. Steal one card from everyone. Um, I mean, a bunch of bombs seems the most useful. Putting a foe to sleep is interesting, but I'm not sure what it's for yet. Um, I don't know. On the other hand, this is kind of an infinite number of liars, right? <laughs> Eventually. I think I'll just take the bombs. Why is this gray background? Because these two are magic and this isn't, I guess? I don't know, guys. I don't even know what putting a photo sleep does. I'll just take the bombs. It's fine. Yeah, alright. So I wasted an axe in here for no reason, and probably a bow, too. Or an arrow. Alright, now this is the Hydra. And look at all these swords I have. My goodness. My thunder will target only one. Alright. The heads of the first... Two rows can attack. Yikes. What do you get if you steal this? Probably something good, right? Um, this is a good time for a shield, right? So I'm not going to get much better than this. You have a couple turns to kill them, uh, is my understanding. And what we play now, we're getting back. So I think I want this. I want to see what I get out of this guy. Hydra stumbles? What were those? Draw cards until you have 10 in hand you can play again. Wow. That is a lot of draw. Oh, but these guys got their heads back while I was busy screwing around with that, huh? Yeah, I guess there's that. Alright, maybe not such a great play. Uh, I don't know, shielding again seems fine. Because I'm being attacked for like 24 every turn. And then we can clean this up with a bunch of swords, I assume. just leave. It would be nice to get this treasure chest, though. Spending a lot of cards to do that, though. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. See ya. I see it now. Deep within me. A giant weeps. And from his tears come my demons. I suppose that's the giant in the game's title. Oh, it's raining tears now. Okay. Uh, what's? Oh, it's a it's a cat with armor. Okay. This guy has a big old shield. Reflects magical damage tenfold. Okay. Uh, what do we get if we steal from this guy? By the way, I don't know. Seems a lot better to just like hack this and. I didn't do magical damage to you. That guy did. Uh, this guy has a black thing. This guy says adjacent dudes are invincible. Okay. 
Uh, I'm kind of considering whipping this guy to the front and killing him, but I'm also thinking about maybe I should whip like this guy. Oh, he's untouchable. Does that mean I can't even target him? No, it looks like I can. I think of whipping him to take off his shield, but I, and but I don't know if that's actually what would happen. If I just go nuts with swords, basically nothing happens. So I think I should hit this guy. And then... Play a bunch of swords. This guy's gonna damage the chest. But what can you do? Um, also, we're at nine on trick right now, so whatever I play, I'm getting back. I think, honestly. God, this guy has armor and a magical shield? That's rough. Um, I think I just need to throw a bomb in here. I don't like that I'm damaging all this stuff. Which one is it more important to try not to destroy? I don't know. I think it's very, it's somewhat likely that the chest is gonna get destroyed anyway as I have to throw a bunch of bombs and fireballs down this column. So let's try to save that. Oh, I meant to put a bomb there, not a fire. Whoops. Um, jeez, there's so much bad, bad dudes here. I don't want to lose five will. That's why I meant to put the bomb here first. Ugh. Looks like we saved the chest at least, right? I mean, there's that. Give me some whips, sure. Ooh, if I whip this guy forward and then kill him, I believe the fire will destroy this guy through his shield. And I can steal some fire from him as well. Here looks good. And again. So can I pick this up? Yeah. It says the four demons next to him, but there's no demons, so I can do whatever I want. Uh I think just a sword is fine. and arrows are kind of my bread and butter, I think. <laughs> kind of wish I could just, like, get past this guy, you know? Um, Alright, get whipped, I guess. I'm just gonna draw a ton of cards. Okay, and, and a sword. This Hydra stuff is... Okay, and the next card is getting tricked. That's nice to know. Don't strike crystals, yep. See, this is a real chest. I wish I had an axe. Like, what do I want to trick? Whip? What is this guy's deal? It's just a... Uh, yeah, reflects magical damage. Okay. Ooh, this reflects non... Or protects against non-magical damage. I kind of want to kill this guy, so this will be in front, and when I kill it, I blow up this whole column. Bomb here, maybe? Yeah, maybe that's a good start. Oh, and I get to level up. Cool. Uh, nerve? I guess. I don't know. It's a little late to be optimizing for this, isn't it? I guess I don't know how long a game of this is. I, these all kind of suck. I don't know. Give me optimism, sure. So 
so like a sword here twice does pretty well. Fireball down there first. I hope this chest has some confidence in it. <laughs> what is this? Uh oh, I'm gonna die from that probably, right? That's horrible. Alright, uh, give me some cards. I don't know what I need, but I need something. Can I, like, scroll through this? No, this is, these are my ten cards. Okay. Um. I don't know exactly what my options are. I don't understand the mechanics this guy has. A shield seems pretty great, though, right? Um. Maybe open this up, see what happens? is all right. Oh, yeah, I need some will, please. Um, maybe whip is better? I don't know. It's a, it's a very wide level. I want some axes. Oh, no, you're not allowed to hold more than ten. I would have liked to know that. Uh, all right, let's just lob a bomb in here, I guess. See if I get paralyzed from this guy immediately or what? Yep. Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Okay, cool. But that will that I added to my deck is not in my hand, which is kind of where I wanted it to be. Okay, so these guys, when they're adjacent, they just paralyze you for two turns. That's their deal. Fine. Now I know. Um, so a bomb there seems appropriate, but then I would die from this guy, I think. Whip him into the front row and then bomb here. I got a shield. Block and reflect attacks. Attackers are attacked, these are stolen from. Cool. Uh, we have this pretty dope axe right now. He got close enough and he got, but, but, he, <sighs> enemies don't get to attack on the turn that you like, right, if that had been a skeleton and he had moved forward, he wouldn't have been allowed to attack. Why was a cyclops allowed to move forward and attack? That wasn't printed on the help text. Ugh. I feel like this game could do a slightly better job of explaining the mechanics to you. Okay, so six fire cards, okay. Why two randomly? I don't know. I don't know what this two means. You unlock a new magical power. You can throw your shield like a frisbee. It bounces off enemies and strikes every other enemy. Every other enemy? I don't know exactly what that means. Um, like it sounds like every two enemies it strikes one of them, but how does it decide what every other enemy is? I don't know. Uh, you found a new imaginary friend. You must defeat 20 demons to carry a star due to nerve. Interesting. Six axes. Okay, well, sure. Seems good. Uh, anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.